2006, Terrence's uncle Christopher was kidnapped from his parents' bedroom in their Colorado home in the middle of the night. Christopher was just seven months old. Today, more than three decades later, Christopher is still missing, and what happened remains a mystery. To help find Christopher, forensic artists here at the National Center have used family pictures to create images of what he might look like. We've watched him grow up in our photos and posters, and now Christopher is 31 years old. Doing someday. Even though I never met my uncle, I still feel very connected to him. She'll inherit a unique family mission. I see how hard my mom works, and every day I come home and she's still she's still searching and and I want to continue that when I get older and if she doesn't find the answers, if my grandma no one finds the answers, I definitely want to continue that because that's something that is so closely bonded to me. I am proud of her. I'm proud of her that she has the compassion and empathy and she has seen what her family and her grandparents have done and gone through. Taryn's mother now leads the next generation in the family search for Christopher. Long before social media connected people and helped spread news. I beg you, please, please. Her parents and grandparents traveled across the country, following possible sightings, trying to generate headlines and get help. My family and me started out, we had some tents and we started camping all through the United States, went from state to state, went up to newspapers and I'd say I would like to have this picture put on your station and or in your newspaper. Bernice Beta has always believed her son is alive, maybe living with another family, with no idea he was stolen as a baby. I still, I have quite an imagination, so I would imagine the time we see each other. The happiness, you know, it, it just kept me going. My imagination kept me going. What I'm going to say to him, what he's going to say to me. In February, after a long, tough fight against cancer, Christopher's mother passed away. While Bernice died not knowing what happened to her youngest son, her family vows to keep searching. We are just so, we're so desperate for the answer that's all we want. If he is alive and he's out there, um, we want him to know that we've never stopped looking for him. I will never stop. I will never stop caring about him, and I will never stop searching for answers. Even though I've never met him, I feel like he, he deserves justice. 